Hello everybody and welcome once again to Forever Stranded. In the last episode, well, I'm getting ready for doing some terraforming. And today we're going to start doing that. First, let's go and have a look at a couple of rockets to send. I'm trying to see if I can use the, la the docking pads to send rockets to different locations. So let's have a quick look at that. So here I've got a docking pad, and this docking pad is linked, if I look inside it, is actually linked to the same dimension. In fact, it's linked to 66, no, 186 12, minus 1246, which is this pad here. If we actually stand on that, we should see that that's the actual position, which it is. Now, what, I sent the rocket up, and it didn't come down here. Well, it came down over here. I sent another one up, um, and this time I sent it to the moon. So we'll see if it actually works interdimensional. I think it does. So let's go and find these. I've got these two rockets marked down here because they were... Um, I found those. Let's go fast. I set up the border for the 1200 uh, uh, 256 line, which as you can see here. I'm good. And I'm going to disassemble this rocket. So this one was without a... Um, oops, there's mobs going to be around here, aren't there? Probably better be careful. Out of range, good. So let's just assemble this rocket first of all. Nothing in this. This is the one I used to send up a um, microwave transmitter. So let's break this down. I might have to go and have a quick sleep. Otherwise, let's have a look. Have we got a bed with us? No. Let's quickly get a bed. Now I probably have to go back. <laughs> Sorry about that. Let's go over here. It should be safe enough in here. In fact, here is where I was doing the under sand quest. In fact, I have, should really show you that because it's now finished. And I basically got fed up with waiting for one batch, so I built another set of um, crushes, as you can see. In fact, I finished with these and turned them all off because it's now completed. So let me just get a bed out of my system here. we go it's in, in in the index because it's sort of a place I keep sort of uh, useful but not but not often used things oh I've got one over there honestly completely forgotten about that right let's put that back away into the index up so where were we So, so basically all this was was just an extension of what I did before so uh, lots of crushers with filters on them so one filter was just filtering cobble, cobble, gravel and the other side was doing cobblestone and all of these crushers have got the 20 upgrades I've turned them off because I turned off the power and in fact I'm going to break all this down now because of that quest being completed so have a look at that actually that's under the sand so have a look. see that was done I haven't claimed the rewards, might as well claim the rewards actually. Uh, choice rewards, let's have the dense energy cables. I think that's probably about the best we can have. And done. So the last one is the cobblestone. In fact, that's also completed. But first of all, we're going to get the rockets. I just found one because I destroyed that one already, didn't I? In fact, this one actually landed slightly outside the boundary because the boundary is supposed to be here. This was a single rocket. And what happened here, I think, if I'm not mistaken, is um, maybe it's maybe it's the it got bl it got blown a bit by the wind. Sorry, let's disassemble this thing. All right, let's go again. Right, let's remove those two markers. And go back. Actually, I actually want to go back to the base, don't I? It's actually it's useful setting up the grid so you can know roughly how far to look as well. So the very last quest was the collector's quest, wasn't it? It was this one. 
and I'm not going to have enough space. Let's dump everything in here. So if you do control space and click, it removes all of your in inventory up to the top there. So now we need to go to the quest. Let's get the quest ready. Quest, collector's quest, cobblestone. You see, I've got 590,000 here. So if I now press escape on that one and then break this with an axe, we go all the way go back to the quest and detect submit. I keep doing that, we should get it completed. Press escape, quest cobble complete. So that's that one. I've probably got some more cobblestone on me, which I don't want, so let's just remove that away. And I also got the chest and the upgrade. So the last upgrade I used was a gold upgrade for doing this. So that's that completed. So let's have a look at that quest. So now it's an item reward, so I get all of these items. No choice, let's just claim it. So that is it from the quest line. Everything is complete, done. All the quests are complete. Collecting life, that's done already. There's a repeatable quest because they keep going up. That's done. Technology revolution, that's done. Tinker power, that's done. And basic survival. This is a killing quest, which is also a one that gets reset. So everything's done. So let's carry on with our rocket stuff. In fact, I probably should stick some of this stuff away while I'm here, shouldn't I? Let's have a look. What have I got on here? A bone, a gold block, some cre pressed blades. Well, I don't know. I just got some lightning then. Compressed blaze rod. Interesting. Indeed it is. And you get eight. Do you know what? I didn't know that was a thing. Right, let's put those into here. I'll remove the gold one as well. Is there anything else I want to put in here? I'll put the that downstairs somewhere. And let's get back to the rocketry stuff. So we're going to get to the moon next. So we should find a rocket on the moon, if I'm not mistaken. So let's just change the chip in here. I want the one I want is the lunar. Oh, no, I haven't got lunar there. It'll be in this bag here. My ID chips. I can't see it for trying. Asteroid chips. Isn't that strange? Oh, sorry about that. Let me f let me just shift. Uh, let me do it the other way then. So open up the interface, select destination. And we want to go to the moon. Select. And off we go. Oh, while I'm going up, I'll put my space helmet back on again. The reason I'm going with with the rocket is I haven't set up a, a space elevator yet in on the moon. Which I think I will do because I'm going to be coming up and down here reasonably often. And it's not much quicker. I don't think it's any quicker than going by rocket. And down we come again. So what I want to do, the whole probably the rest of this episode is going to be setting up what I need for um, the terraforming. The terraforming plant itself, it's enormous. But that one of those rockets should have appeared over there. So let's have a quick look and see whether or not that other rocket's actually appeared. No, it hasn't. So, don't know where it's gone to then in that case. So what we can do is we'll start terraforming around about. Ah, oh, let's have a look. I suppose here's as good as anywhere. It's quite a big structure. So let's get our hologram projector out. Ah, what I should also do is to put away the rocketry bits I've got on me so that these ones here can all disappear into the chest. And here I have got another bag, and in this bag I've got everything I need for the rocketry stuff. 
And these are two satellites for microwave receivers. So let's get that out. Wrong one. Let's try again. And you can see how much we stuff we need. We need lots of clay. Lots of concrete. And those are the lower levels. So we actually do need these. And I think we need oxygen vents go towards the top. Fluid and maybe going to, towards the bottom. So the last thing I need is the hologram or the hollow projector. And that should be in here. If I hope Hopefully I can see it, which is not there. Where have I put it now? If I put it in this one, shouldn't have done. So look in the other bag, the one on my back. Ah, oh, there it is, look. So the holder projector, yeah, and this is the one we need, the atmosphere terraformer. So we need one atmosphere terraformer, 433 advanced machine structures those are the ones made out of titanium three plugs power plugs eight oxygen vents 136 clay 207 concrete four fluid input hatches and 72 liquid fuel tanks so let's start to do this one let's start say here that rocket right about there let's click that and come back so that's the whole, back a bit further, you see that's the whole size of this thing. So that's basically what we've got to build. So let's just scroll down, that wrong way, that way, start doing this. To be honest with you, what I don't know is whether it's worth my, my while doing this and coming back, or doing this in front of you. So anyway, you just put the bits down like this. What I think I'll do is I shall come back after I've built this. Because it's probably going to be a bit dull. As you see, we've got these fluid tanks going down here like this. And you need 72 of those, as you can see. And that's how it's going to work. So I'll see you in a few seconds when this is built. Well, I've placed down all the blocks except for the last, the controller. And it's looking reasonably good, I think. You can see it's got a, a lot of concrete, a lot of clay, and a, very, a large number of uh, advanced machine blocks. And they were actually quite a problem. Fuel tanks here, because I had to get get them to get the retail ore, and that took forever. So if I now right click this, with a bit of luck, it forms and it does great. So look at that. From a distance. Wow. Okay, let's have a quick look at the interface because I'm not going to finish it this this episode it needs some things so what have we got here it's got uh, that was a gooey bug that increase amt which is the atmosphere and decrease atmosphere you can turn it on we haven't got any but it's got speed and power and here it's got some space for gas which we haven't got and here i think it needs a biome link changer link which we haven't got either and we need power so the what and it also says it needs at least 300,000 power. So let's have a look at doing the power next. It might be possible. So here we have fuel inputs here, fluid inputs. So those are for the gases. And it will take, as far as I remember, not for what I'm seeing, I've not tried this yet. Uh, it takes nitrogen and oxygen. I'm not sure if it takes hydrogen, but um, of those two, it certainly does take those two. So, but for power, I'm going to try and use the satellites I've sent up. So we need a microwave transmit transceiver. So let's have a look at that one. So we need a microwave receiver. And what do we need for that? One microwave receiver, 12 hatches and 12 solar panels. So I shall just prepare those ingredients and come back. Right, I'm back again with the bits made, as you can see in the bottom row there. So let's put this thing together. It's actually quite straightforward, oh, but I do need a bit of space. So let's do it at the back here. If I need some moon turf, I've got some moon turf. So it's not very big, it's 25 by 25. And the power itself needs to go at this level. So let's put it down, say, somewhere like this will be fine. But I probably need some more 
um, turf. Let's just get the turf. So what have I got with me? Um, have I got a shovel with me? I usually have a shovel with me. Sometimes it's not easy to see. Let me just sort that. I don't have a shovel with me. At least not in there. And I should have it in there if it's anywhere. I'll have to use a pickaxe, but that takes forever. Maybe I can use a mattock. So I just need to break some moon turf if I can. Yeah, it's a bit slow with this. What I'll do is I'll fill it in afterwards, I think. So first of all, we'll create the structure and then we'll put it in, fill it all in afterwards. So now we'll just put it down here, sent it on this one. Have I got it selected? I think I have. Yes, I have. Good. And you'll hear, you'll see here it says we've got different choices, especially on one face. So what I'm planning to do is on one face, I'm going to have a set of output plugs here for power. So solar panels, output plug. And the reason for that, I've got four input plugs here. But if I need to just change those to so power output plugs, I'll just do it like that. And I think that's reversible too. Yes, it is. So we could put these down here, for example. I think it's probably a good idea to do it like that. And on the corners, we'll put the um, solar panels. Because we have to. And on the far side, I'm going to put some input hatches. Like this. In fact, I guess I'll put the solar panels down here. Like that. The rest of these... Everything on the outside can be what you want it to be. So let's just set another output port here. I might have to change this later on. So just like this. And the very middle one will be the microwave receiver. There. So we can and you see as you get it right, it just changes its form. So here we should have the three power plugs, which I don't actually see, but they are there. I think you have to right click the middle bit here. I can see it. Ah, oh, there you go. And now we can turn it on. It's not generating on the RF because we've got no um, micro, uh, microwave receivers in here, but we should be able to put two in. So let's put some in here because it's got a satellite a microwave energy receiver here and another one here. Now this, they're actually doing the earth and it doesn't look like it's going to work on the moon generating zero let's turn it off and on again so it doesn't look like it's working maybe i have to send that rock the rockets from here uh, for that to work correctly so i'm going to call it a day and i'll see you next time hopefully i'm going to try this and get this to work maybe i'll send up a satellite from here and see if that works and i'll also have to go well, next time we're going to have to go back to the space station and try and get some more gases. So until then, bye for now.